Hello friends, this video on p-block elements part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Phosphorus halides. In this phosphorus halides, as I told, we'll study two. One is my phosphorus trichloride and phosphorus pentahalides. Phosphorus trihalide and phosphorus pentahalide. So phosphorus halides are of two form px3 and px5. So we'll study these two only. Okay, this X can be fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. So let's study PCL3 first. Talk about the pr preparation of uh, PCL3. How will you prepare? So to prepare, let's first study the preparation of PCL3. So we have this dry chlorine gas. When you pass this dry chlorine gas over heated phosphorus, over heated phosphorus, this is heated phosphorus, what you get is PCl3. This is the balanced reaction. Okay. And this is also produced, this is one step, one way. Another way, this is also produced by the action of thionyl chloride with white phosphorus. So you have this white phosphorus, you react with uh, SOCl2, it is thionyl chloride, you get PCl3 and some sulfur dioxide and S2Cl2. So we want to write the balance reaction. This is my balance reaction. And this is the structure of PCl3. Okay, there's a lone pair of electron on phosphorus and the three chlorine molecules. So we talk about the properties of PCl3 it is colorless oily liquid. It is colorless and oily and this is liquid. And this actually hydrolyzes in the presence of moisture. For example, you take PCL3 and the moment there is some moisture, it will hydrolyze to H3, PO3 and HCl. Okay. This PCL3 also reacts with organic compounds which has OH group. For example, my CH3COH, it will react with PCL3. My C2H5OH, this will also react with PCL3. So in this case, I'll get CH3COCl and H3PO3. In this case, I'll get C2H5Cl and H3PO3. Okay. And as I told, the shape is my pyramidal shape. Pyramidal shape. And this is sp3 hybridized. sp1, p2, p3. This is sp3 hybridized. Let's talk about PCL5 now. So one way to prepare PCL5 is you take white phosphorus and you have excess chlorine, excess, excess dichlorine, you get PCL5. Again, the same thing we can use as thionyl chloride also. We have P4, you take SO2Cl2, you take excess of this SO2Cl2, you get PCL5 and 10 SO2. So same thing, but in this case, uh, the thionyl chloride or uh, the chlorine gas has to be excess. To talk about the property is yellowish white water. Yellowish, yellowish water or yellowish white actually. It is a little uh, lighter than this. And this also hydrolyzed to PCL3 in the presence of moist air. And finally, to phosphoric acid. So we have seen that I have PCL5. The moment you add water to it, little bit of moisture, it becomes POCl3 and 2HCl. And this POCl3 again will react with this water molecules and form H3PO4 and 3HCl. Please note this is POCl3, not PCl3. Right? This hydrolyzed to POCl3. And when you heat this PCL5 actually, when you heat this PCL5, 
it converts into PCl3 and Cl2. It sublimes and then decomposes on stronger heating. Like PCl5, when you heat it, it sublimes and on stronger heating, it decomposes. Okay. Again, this uh, PCl5 also reacts with organic compound which has OH group. So, similar to PCl3, let's see the reactions. So, it will react with, uh, let's suppose, C2H5OH. PCl5 will react with this to form C2H5Cl and POCl3 and HCl. So, it's HCl. Similarly, it will react with the uh, CH3, COO, OH, again with the OH group, PCl5 will react to form CH3, COO, Cl, and again POCl3 and HCl. Okay. The next important reaction for PCl5 is if I have finely divided metals, metals divided, finely divided metals, when you heat with PCl5, when you heat this PCl5, it gives chlorides, corresponding chlorides. For example, silver plus PCl5 will give you silver chloride and PCl3, right? This PCl5 is also used in the synthesis of organic compounds, for example, C2H5Cl, if you see, and CS3COCl. So it is used actually in these reactions to prepare organic compounds. The shape, if you see, is a trigonal bipyramidal. It is trigonal bipyramidal. That is the structure of this. This is phosphorus here. This is 240. This is 202. This is 90 degree actually. This is triangular bipyramidal. The axial bands, the axial bonds are longer than the equatorial bond. Why? Because the axial bonds suffer more repulsion as compared to the equatorial bond. You see these axial bonds, these are axial. They are longer and these are equatorial uh, bands. Why? Because these axial bonds suffer more repulsion as compared to the equatorial. Because you see there is a head to neck, neck to neck repulsion. Here, there is not much neck to neck repulsion. Okay. Also in solid state, it exists as ionic form. For example, PCl5 will exist as PCl4 in the plus charge, PCl6 in the minus charge. This will be tetrahedral and this will be octahedral. Right. So it exists as ionic solids also. This is tetrahedral, let me write here. And this is octahedral. In shape. The next question is, why does PCl3 fumes in moisture? See, we have told that PCl3 hydrolyzes very easily in the form in the presence of small amount of moisture to form S3PO3 and HCl. And this HCl is my gas and it fumes. Okay, this is my balanced reaction. The question is, are all the five bonds in PCl5 equal? No, we have seen that these bonds are small, 202 picometer, and these two bonds are big, that is 240 picometer. Why? So, this is, uh, as I told, this is a trigonal bipyramidal structure, and these uh, chlorine suffers more repulsion. More repulsion. Right? Because they are head to head. But these suffer less repulsion, so their bond length is less. The question is what happens when PCl5 is heated? We have seen that PCl5 when you heat slightly it sublimes. When you heat more it breaks PCl5 breaks into PCl3 and chlorine gas. The next question is write a balanced reaction for hydrolytic reaction of PCl5 with water. So we have seen PCl5 when you react with water it forms POCl3. We have seen this reaction and it forms hydrochloric acid. This POCl3 will further react with water actually to form H3PO4 and HCl. That is what it will form. Thank you. 
Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.